Welcome to another Highland League weekly preview show. I'm Ryan Crail and here's Callum Law with everything you need to know about this weekend's big game. The main game for us this weekend on Highland League Weekly is the Breeden Highland League clash between Turriff United and Brechin City at the Hawks. Turra come into this one buoyed by their first win under new manager Warren Cummings which came last weekend when they defeated Rothis 3-1. By the time this game's played, Brechin might have a new manager in place but as I stand here now it's still Stephen Simmons in interim charge. He did a fine job last weekend, the Hedgemen defeated Clark Nicodden 6-0 and they remain unbeaten in the Highland League so far this season with 28 points out of a possible 30. In four previous league meetings between Turriff and Brechin, Turriff have yet to pick up a point. They'll be hoping to change that this weekend and you'll be able to see who comes out on top on Monday's Highland League Weekly. Competition time. First things first, we must clear up the winner of last week's competition. We'd asked you who scored the winning goal the last time Nairn County won silverware. That's previous to last weekend when they picked up the North of Scotland Cup. The answer, the game being the North of Scotland Cup final in 2012 where Nairn beat Wick Academy 2-1 after extra time at Grant Street Park in Inverness. I think that's correct. The answer was John Cameron scored the winning goal in that game. We had a couple of, of correct answers, but the successful entrant who can now request either a Highland League weekly mug or the Crystal Paul tea towel is somebody I believe that's won before on the show, Fred Milne. Fred, get in touch with us at sportofpressandjournal.co.uk with which of these uh, unique items you would like and we'll get one sent out to you. This week's question is going to be related to the main game which is going to be Turriff United against Brecon City from the Hacks and we want you to tell us. Brecon City striker Grady McGrath, he's, he's banging them in for fun, he has since he joined Brecon at the start of last season but tell us how many goals in all competitions so far Grady has scored this season and you too could be the proud owner of one of these items should you get it correct and you are picked out of the hat. The second game for us this weekend is Bucky Thistle versus Wick Academy at Victoria Park and here are three things you need to know. Bucky are looking to continue their good run of form in the league. If they could win this match it will be four successive league victories. The Scorries have also been in good form, they've picked up four points from their last two league games. However, they're looking to win at Victoria Park for the first time since February 2018. If Wick are to get anything out of this game, they'll need to stop North Football's highest scoring defender. The Jags' Jack Murray has already got seven goals in all competitions this season and he'll be looking to add more on Saturday. Crystal Paul time. Now, last week we both predicted by to varying degrees that uh, Nairn County would win the North of Scotland Cup final, so we've both got a point each, meaning that the opposition are now on 24 points and Crystal Paul, nine points yeah. for you. So Double the, figures just coming to. The gap's still pretty big. Uh, this week, two games again to make predictions on. Which one would you like to start with? Oh, let's go with the main game, a Turriff Brechin. Oof. Uh, Turriff can score goals, but Brechin can score an awful lot more goals, it seems, and are very good defensively, as we saw with their 6-0 win last weekend. I have to go with Brechin, but I think Turriff will manage to score it at home. I'm going to go 4-2 to Brechin City. Yeah, I know this is one of those games that crops up now and then that feels quite awkward because I feel like Brechin are going to win this game and win reasonably comfortably and I haven't met Warren Cummins yet and I feel like, you know, I'm kind of saying like, oh, it's going to be like, you know. Yeah. Um, but I do think this game could be, I mean, it won't be too harsh, but I'll, I'll say it's up to 4-1 because I just think Beacon have got so much fir firepower. It looks like every, it's every time I read a match report, uh, Grady McGrath scored at least two goals. So yeah, we'll go with that 4-1. Um, second one is, it's Wick Academy, no, it's Bucky Thistle against Wick Academy. Yes. Uh, now, Scotties that are definitely on the up at the moment, um, Gary Manson's side, they're, they're kind of picking up points now however I do think again with this one it's a difficult one I think it'll be tighter than the other game but I still think maybe like Bucky to win 3-1 given they're at home 
well, as Callum touched on with this one, Wick haven't won the Victoria Park for quite a while now, uh, and it, it, I do have to say, I think it's going to still be the case after Saturday, I'm going to go for Bucky to win 4-0. OK, well, as always, keep an eye out for the scores this weekend, or watch the next week's show, or preferably both, um, to find out how we got on. Two sides who will be looking to get back to winning ways after dropping points last weekend with draws. The Katak's can move above the Black and Golds, who are in fourth place, if they can take all three points in this one. This is a 2pm kickoff, and it's a meeting of two teams in contrasting form. The Bamfers have lost their last five matches in all competitions, while Lossiemouth have won their last three without conceding a goal. Both sides are locked on 19 points in the Highland League table, but the Brock have played a game less than their hosts and beat Rothes on both meetings last season, including a 3-0 win at McKessick Park back in April. It's a meeting of two of the sides who'll be hoping to challenge to win the Breeden Highland League title. United are top of the table with 29 points, Banks are D in fifth with 23 points. Both teams looking to get back to winning ways after draws last weekend. The sides also met a month ago in the Morrison Motors Turf Aberdeenshire Shield with D winning 5-0 at North Lodge Park on that occasion. The North of Scotland Cup holders will be looking to continue their rise up the table when they host a Can-Can's outfit who will give them a tough test after fighting back twice to earn a point against Banks of D at Mosset Park last weekend. Now first and foremost, the, the, the reason I'm dressed differently from every other segment I'm in in this week's preview show is because for these two upcoming quick takes we had to wait for the result between Keith and Strasby Thistle in midweek. The Strasby couldn't add a second win of the season when they went to Keith following their victory against Devon Vale last weekend. They went down 3-1 at Kynick Park despite leading 1-0 in the first half. Still though, things are bunched up at the bottom this weekend. As I said, the head to Clacknacuddin who suffered a sore 6-0 beating against Beacon City, the champions last weekend. Clack are just one point and one place above the rock bottom Jags. Keith against Inverurie. Keith's win against Strasby in midweek was their first Breeden Highland League victory since August. On Saturday, the 14th place Maroons host 16th place Inverurie Locos. The gap between the sides is four points at the moment with Locos having played two matches more. Will Locos manage to close that gap? Still looking for a first win under Dean Donaldson, the Locos, or will Keith stretch away further? Okay, that's it for the Highland League weekly preview. Thanks once again for watching. Just a reminder that the games we're filming this weekend ahead of Monday's show are Tariff United against Beacon City and Bucky Thistle against Wick Academy. So tune in on Monday for the best of action from those ones. A reminder as well that we're coming to you once again in affiliation with our sponsor, Alexander Wallace Toyota of Elgin, whether you're looking for a new or used Toyota or you've already got one, the dealership are there to meet your needs and you can find them simply by searching online or there's a link below this video with all the details for you to get in touch. We're on social media, you may be watching us on one of our platforms at the moment, but if you're not following us or part of our groups there, we're on X, formerly known as Twitter, where you have a Facebook group, Highland League Weekly, which is a, a vibrant community of Highland League fans. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and on YouTube as well. For more Highland League news from the Press and Journal, uh, you can sign up to our Highland League newsletters. There's a link to do that below this video too. Enjoy the football, whichever games you're watching this weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. <laughs>